Hi, this is going to be a very quick pro tip, how to use LakeFS import to bring external data into your LakeFS repository without having to copy it. So why would we want to do that? So the use case for import is when we have external data, something that isn't managed in LakeFS, and we want to bring it into LakeFS to enjoy all the capabilities, right? Being able to branch off of it, commit, merge, rollback, um, to have all these capabilities, but without copying lots of data into another location just in order to do that. Um, so for that, LakeFS allows us to import by just pointing to an existing location. LakeFS would create pointers to that existing data. And then any change we make would be local within our repository without actually affecting the data that we imported. So let's look at an example. Uh, in this case, I found this nice public data set uh, from the National Archives hosted on the AWS Marketplace. Um, and it exists within the publicly accessible uh, S3 bucket. So I'm just going to copy that path. I'm going to go to my LakeFS installation and hit the import button. So I'll put in my bucket as the source. As a destination, let's uh, put it under, let's say, data archives. And I'm also going to give an informative commit message saying that we imported from this location, maybe that the source URL uh, is the marketplace. This is just for uh, easier visibility later. So I'm going to hit the import button. And again, what this does, it doesn't actually copy the data from that bucket. It's just creating pointers to all the different objects that exist at this point in time. Um, so this is a rather sizable bucket. So a few tens of thousands of objects that exist there. Um, and as you can see, it only took like a few seconds to actually import all this data in. Um, let's give it a few more seconds to finish. Um, and now I can see that inside my data directory, I also have this archives and all the information that was actually extracted from that external source. Um, so we said that this doesn't actually copy data. How can we make sure? So let's go to one of these files and do object info. So this would show us that the physical address for this object is actually on that external S3 bucket, right? the one that we imported from. Um, and what I, I can also do is if I go to my commits and see that I have this really nice commit that introduced this data, again, with all the useful information that we added, uh, and I do calculate change summary, I see that I loaded 31,000 something objects, totaling 6.4 terabytes. Um, and it only took a few seconds, right? And this could have been millions of files, even petabytes of data. Um, and because this is metadata only, it would only take seconds.